What's going on, guys? So we are still out here at the Funtown RV Show in Dallas, Texas at the uh, AT&T Stadium. This is where the Cowboys play. They set this up every year. We're going to take a look at this absolutely beautiful and huge Redwood fifth wheel. Redwood is a uh, very, very synonymous brand with quality as well as luxury. And I think you guys are going to be blown away by this. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so we're going to work our way around to the uh, numbers on this unit so I can let you know what my opinions are and how everything looks from a numbers and capabilities perspective. So this specific unit, which again is a huge, huge unit, is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 19,000 pounds. This thing's heavy, very heavy, heavy unit. I definitely recommend a dually towing something like this. And it's going to have about 3,200 pounds worth of cargo capacity, which means, yeah, this thing can get very, very heavy, especially if you load the front of it up with a bunch of stuff like a washer and dryer, things like that. But we're going to hop inside of this unit, take a quick look at the interior of this first, then we'll come back out and see what the outside is all about. Okay, so up front we got the rubber pin box from Moride. This is going to help mitigate that road shock and dampen that, that chucking and vibration from the truck to the trailer, the trailer to the truck. We have some storage up here. I'm sure this is where your generator would go. Nice heavy baggage doors. I always like a nice thick, dense baggage door. Helps protect um, things from hitting it and coming out. Okay, this is where your hydraulic batteries, actually just your batteries and uh, most of your electronics are and your disconnect, so you can kill power to this if it's going to be in storage. Coming around this way, you have a spot for 30-pound propane can on each side. Hydraulic leveling system. And then this is kind of a, a big deal. So you open this up, this is where your hydraulics are. And this space is very special because not only do they give you road vac, entertainment system, and all of this, but they give you something really nice, and that is a full water management system, a full manifold, very residential style, so you can control all of your, uh, your plumbing connections, everything where it comes into the coach. If something starts leaking, you can shut it off individually. This has been a feature of, of uh, Redwoods for quite a while, so definitely a big fan of that. You have a portable water system as well on the go. Very nice. Looks like your vacuum hoses and everything. I love how they put this slat board back here so you can be able to store things up nice and conveniently out of the way. Typically something a lot of people would add to their RV. Nice baggage doors on strut arms. You can see how the side of the slides are blacked out, which is really nice. Plus everything's engraved redwood, illuminated 4200 FL. Okay, price, MSRP $210,966, 77 grand off, that's insane. Sale price $133,899, and this is for a 23 model, so you're not getting like a leftover 22. All right, stepping inside, beautiful, beautiful redwood interior. I mean, most people know that redwood interiors are kind of synonymous with luxury, and this one definitely doesn't disappoint. Take a look at the edge of these, these countertops. Beautiful, just very residential overall. It just absolutely screams luxury for a fifth wheel. Nice French door refrigerator in place. You have some storage above it as well. And then your freezer drawer below. Opening up this storage. A lot of space next to your your Insignia upgraded four burner stove oven. Nice cabinetry. Bedding is soft closing, which it is. Beautiful backsplash. Check out these drawers. Absolutely nice drawers. They're not slow closing or soft closing drawers, Joe, though. Um, and these cabinets are, but again, this is kind of where you see kind of the mixture of folks who are doing it both ways, where they'll have one but not the other. You have your switches here. Beautiful backsplash. Love the stainless steel, too, behind the stove. Love seeing the Insignia cooktop or the Insignia stove as well. Nice convection microwave, full-size residential. Coming around this way, again, a lot of storage. They have kind of a, a rug-type material instead of carpet. Some high cabinets, spot for some wine bottles. Nice storage underneath. You have a little kind of a bar area there. Good spot for a coffee maker. And coming around this way, nice little dinette. You can pull that out and you can fit a couple more chairs there if you'd like. 
single basin stainless steel sink, kind of a farm style sink with a straining rack above it. Lots of drawers, lots of cabinets. Huge lip to that, uh, that solid surface countertop. Looks beautiful. Everything in here is really nice. Day night roller shades, so you get both of them. Very cool looking light above the, the dinette area as well. It's nice to be able to either black out your RV or just to give yourself some privacy if it's in the daytime. Nice coat closet here as well. A lot of RVs are lacking that spot. So, you know, it's really a great thing when you see an RV that dedicates some space to things like a coat closet or a trash can. Nice wainscoting in the, in the bedroom area. Beautiful bedroom. King size bed. Nice size end tables. I like those end tables. You could easily fit a coffee maker, or sorry, a coffee mug up there. You could fit a CPAP machine. It's just a, a good spot. Nice mirror already installed in place. The bed does not lift up because this bed is actually an electric bed. It can tilt, so you can kind of prop yourself up so you can watch TV at a better angle. It's going to have three AC units in it as well. Huge, huge countertop space here. Also a big wardrobe closet here as well. They definitely did not skimp on drawers. Yeah, the story here has definitely got to be the wardrobe space. You got nine drawers just in this one little area, plus that hanging wardrobe. I don't think we'd ever be able to fill up all these drawers. This seems like the kind of unit that you'd, you'd look and always have an empty drawer somewhere. A lot of nice trim work done here. Nice crown molding. Nice trim across the top of the slide. I love the wainscot that they've put here next to the bed on each side. Beautiful wood trimming for the lower section right there. Beautiful bathroom. The bathroom just really stands out in this unit. The minute you walk in, it's kind of a, an awe-inspiring moment because you see this thing and it just looks gorgeous. This is where your washer and dryer would go if you want to put a stackable unit in. Plus you have two additional chairs there that would go with the dinette up front. If you don't want to put the uh, washer and dryer in here, you got extra storage. Nice shower surround, even though it's a fake material. It's like a 3D printed material versus being real. I love the shower head, love the wand. Just an absolutely gorgeous shower, complete with seat. And then the vanity area is beautiful. Six drawers, two cabinets in the middle. Nice cabinets on each side of the mirror. A lot of storage. Great place for shoes, more hanging clothes. Yeah, the story behind this unit is probably the amount of storage you have in the master bedroom as well as the bathroom. Then you have some extra space here. I like how they divided the storage underneath the sink. Okay, working our way back out to the uh, the front of this unit. A lot of people on this unit, so I'm trying to work my way around everybody that's here. Again, beautiful dinette. Great place to put your shoes, keys, things like that. Nice little cabinet area here. I love, uh, love the space, plus the fact you can throw a coffee maker up top. Here's your control panel for your slides, everything else. Your on-demand hot water system as well. Now, stepping up into the front overhang of this fifth wheel, you have one of your kind of a sofa love seat. Beautiful, beautiful valances. Nice backing behind the TV. That is definitely textured. Looks very nice. Done a great job. I wonder who came up with that design. Your third AC above. Very cool. Panoramic fireplace. Nice surround around it as well. Lower cabinets on each side. Big TV already in place with sound bar beneath it. Got another opposing love seat sofa right there, and they both fold out into some really nice big beds. You have your power seating here, recline, massage, lighting, all of that. Very cool. Well, what do you guys think so far of this floor plan? Let's step outside. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on out here. You have rack and pinion slide. This rides on a 12 inch I beam frame with the 10 inch I-beam drop frame section. You can see it has a racetrack style air conditioning system. You can also see the, the frame is a little unique. They've done some creative things with it. And then this of course is gonna have the Moride LRE uh, suspension. This is a 4000 series suspension from Moride. So very, very cool. A lot of movement, a lot of articulation. It has the heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts. Saloon H-rated tires on it as well. So you definitely have good running gear and you have a phenomenal suspension system. Redwood has been using that LRE system for a long time. Again, you see another shot of the 12-inch I-beam frame right there. Coming around, you can see this is one of those really cool units that has all this storage underneath the back area. Makes it really nice whenever you're loading it up for a trip. 
Now off the very back, um, you know, they put a fiberglass cap here, but I personally, I love the look of the fiberglass cap. Don't get me wrong. I think it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. LED lighting, very residential, or sorry, very automotive. It does have a two inch receiver there. It is designed so you are able to tow with this, even though I don't generally recommend it. Fury on backup camera. That said though, I kind of prefer when they have the big hatch on the backs with the, the drawer, because it gives you the ability to load things up really nicely. Again, this thing's rated for 3,000 pounds worth of towing and 300 pounds worth of hitch weight. You have a ladder to get you on top, electric cord reel, as well for your 50 amp cable. But again, I'd love your opinion. Fiberglass cap or big access hatch so you can have a sliding drawer in the back. And then you have a Schwintec slide on your bedroom slide out, which is that one. Again, more storage here. You have some of your tank release handles. That's your Schwintec controller module, so it controls the, the slide itself. Hydraulic auto leveling. Beautiful, beautiful full body paint finish on this unit. Gorgeous. There's your vent hood for the back of your stove vent hood. You definitely want to make sure that's open if you're cooking. Your Truma AquaGo on-demand hot water system. Plus you have some quick drain out ports if you want to drain your tanks. Let's say you have it full of water and you can get back from a trip has a Nautilus panel as well as a full house water filtration system. And then your auto leveling instructions are right there so you can control your six point auto leveling system. Very cool. The other side of your pass through front basement storage is your other 30 pound LP tank. Super nice unit. What do you guys think? I'm a big fan of Redwoods. Um, I really like them. They, they look gorgeous. They have definitely more premium materials and they have a lot of a lot of really exciting things that they do to the interior to make them more luxurious. Definitely dually towable. Wouldn't put this behind a half ton or a three quarter ton or a single rear wheel at all. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.